Hi everyone! This preliminary test bed evaluates the possibility to use a Raspberry Pi as a, a soft state autopilot for a wealth of target VI calls. This demo mainly features a remote laptop as well as a Raspberry Pi, and communications between both network nodes is made through a Wi Fi ad hoc link. You're just seeing the Wi Fi Nano dongle here, as well as monitor output, the Raspberry camera, the Raspi cam, the SD card for storage, a PathWiz modulation board, the LiPo battery for a motor, and the motor itself. So, in essence, everything needed to test a few of the Raspberry capabilities uh, to ultimately build an autopilot. Okay, but that's not all. I wanted also to evaluate the communications between a Raspberry and a remote ground control software. So here is QGround Control. This is a well-known open source software. Nice features and reasonably maintained. But above all, a well-documented communication protocol with the UAVs was implemented, Mavlink. But I get back to this later. For now, you can see the nice graphical features of my version of QGround Control, as well as the remote display of the Raspberry with two main windows. The first terminal window controls the camera capture through the use of generic RaspiCam commands. For instance, in this example we use the RaspiSteel tool to stream images at a regular frequency. It is now time to launch the Python autopilot code which implements Mavlink, a communication protocol between UAVs and the ground control software. So here we go. The communication is now established through Mavlink itself over a UDP socket on the Wi-Fi link. Telemetry from the Raspberry is received via some Mavlink messages regularly emitted from the autopilot. Okay, here I change the graphical perspective of QGround Control. This software has the nice ability to display GPS data, here simulated traces from the Raspberry Autopilot on a standard map. The map tiles can be retrieved from different providers, here for example from the Google Maps service. And it is therefore quite straightforward to check that the data sent from the autopilot, including GPS coordinates, attitude, etc., is correctly emitted and received naturally. Right, on a side remark, we can not only send sensor telemetry over the Mavlink protocol, but also some image or video stream. And it works. Now, another important aspect is the preliminary test of the reverse communication path. And I do so by checking the ability for the QGRAM control to remotely control a motor. Here is the motor chain briefly presented. Besides the battery, there are three key components. The electronic speed controller, which controls the direction and speed of a brushless motor, which is shown here. To control the CSC, we need a PathWiz modulation port, which is provided by this PWM board and which is itself controlled by the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so here's the small test bed. We have connected the motor chain and we use a standard button of the QGround control interface to send a custom Mavlink message to the Python autopilot, which initializes the ESC and eventually correctly controls the motor. And okay, that's all for now for this preliminary test bed. Thanks for watching.